Coverage of the NFL brings us to First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Cleveland Browns. Ready to get it started, it's Cade York, and off we go from Cleveland. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds, so really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Second and one from the gun. It's Drake. He's into the secondary, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Drake will take this one in for a Vegas touchdown. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taking it about the one. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 22. To throw is Watson. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Watson. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Well, that's not the way you want to start. A first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. You've got to shake that off and get going. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And oh, that is 
is going to be a safety. Every team has plays in their book to try and buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. Taken in at the 11. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing he just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Carr again here on second and ten. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. To throw his car. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Again, it's Carr. Out to Cole on the right side. And some room to roll now. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Keelan Cole, 46 yards. And the Raiders are able to cash in for six. Well, and this is where quarterbacks' passing numbers sometimes get a little bit more inflated than they should because this is a short little pass, but it goes for big yardage. And that should serve as a big warning to this defense. They know now that they have to stick close to these receivers because they have the ability to break games wide open after the catch, and that one wound up in the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. In zone, it's Demetric Felton. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Cleveland offense ready to go. They're already looking up at a 16-0 deficit. Still plenty of time to go. First quarter. But work to be done as they come up first and 10. Back to throw. Watson. Flushed out right. Thrown across his body and it's intercepted. Picked by Trayvon Mullen. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Raider defense delivers a score. Carlson now to add the extra point. And that PAT pushes the lead up to 23 now. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Browns drive about to get started. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing again is Watson. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. 
Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And yeah, they work this well upfield across the 45. finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Off of play action, it's Watson. Buying time to his left. Now he'll turn and throw deep back to the other side of the field. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A gain of 39 that time. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, Watson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Jonathan Abram picks it. And the Raiders are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Well, Brand, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On play action, now Carr. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 23 yards, the final tally. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Here's second and ten. To throw, it's Carr. Throw left side complete. That's Adams. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Carr looking to throw on third and two. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Grant Delpit. And the Browns are going to take over once again and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. Boy, Brandon, that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. The Cleveland offense ready to go. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. They give him a gain of 37. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Watson on first down. Flush to his right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Watson. And he will find his man Schwartz. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now Watson. That's going to be taken in by Felton. 
And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. 12 more yards there and another first down. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Watson now to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. On fourth down, Watson. And this is going to be intercepted. Jonathan Abram picks it. And the Raiders are going to get the ball back on the turnover. They hold on fourth and goal. Well, Charles certainly circled that play. We might have to revisit it later. They had three in their back pocket. They go for it on fourth and goal and throw the pick. Well, you know, we're still in the first half. A bold call nonetheless. And I guess the book might have said, take the three. But it looks like they burned the book and just said, give me the analytics. And the analytics said, go for it didn't work out and we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here the Browns gonna see the football first but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports fields it right around the goal line and the tackle gonna be made right there at the 25 yard line The Browns drive about to get started. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive? on that one sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know? And that's caught inside the 35. A big play that time for Cleveland. 43 yards. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Deshaun Watson, so multi-dimensional, able to scramble for the first. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time. When nothing broke open, kept it, and ended up running for a first down himself. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Mullen. And the Raiders are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. They were well aware of the scoreboard as they went into halftime, and they know how tough it's been to put up any kind of points. But if there's a positive after that play, is that they were able to take a shot at the end zone on their opening drive of this half. The negative, though, that shot at six ended in an interception. And we know that's not going to jumpstart this struggling offense. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. To throw on second and ten. Carr, he finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. The tackling in this game has not been good so far. We've seen our share of missed tackles. Case in point, that one right there. And that miss led to another big play. 
I don't know if it's effort. I don't know if it's technique. But they'll have to work on that in practice. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Carr. They'll set up the screen to Drake. And some room to maneuver. Touchdown, Raiders. Kenyon Drake. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Raiders are an extra point away from going up by 30. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Here comes Felton to bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 of the 22-yard line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Deron Harmon. And the Raiders are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Drake will start the drive on the ground. And he is going to lose yardage here. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. On second and 11 now. Carr. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. On third and short, Drake. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, we might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. From down at the 12, it's first and ten. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there. It keeps them advancing the ball. Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. Up the middle they go with Drake. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. On third down, Drake. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Kenyon Drake taking it in from two yards out. And the Raiders add six more to their point total. And they're on cruise control right now here in the fourth. And he pushed it right. It's no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Browns.
Browns drive about to get started. It's been a tough go for them. It's still without any points here in the fourth quarter. And a big deficit, Charles. But they moved the football on some drives. They just haven't had any points. Yeah, and I know in their minds, they're thinking the game plan has actually been working. We just haven't scored points. Well, isn't that the bottom line, partner, to put points on the board? So if you're moving it and you're not scoring, is it really working? Right now, they've got nothing left to lose. They might as well go for broke. Now he's going to throw deep back over the middle. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Trayvon Merrig. And what a return as he brings this one all the way back to the 25-yard line. <laughs> Running straight ahead is Jacobs. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Carr. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. On third and long, it's Carr. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That passing incompletion, I, I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points, but they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook, and they still want to run it efficiently. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. He's got a man complete. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. A big play that time for Cleveland. 53 yards. Faking the give, now Watson, rolling to his left. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now a play fake, and it's Watson. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? Steps away to his left. And oh no, it's incomplete. Well, it's a touchdown if he holds on, but somehow took his eyes off of it, falls to the ground, and brings up fourth down. Snap it to Watson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Raider D, they get the football back. On the ground is Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. The last run got six, now second and four. Carr going to look to throw. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. 
When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. Now Carr. The throw taken in by Cole. And he is going to lose yardage here. Hard to throw for on fourth down. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he is going to have a Raiders first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. First down. From the gun, it's Carr. Caught on the right side by Adams. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Four yards remain for second down. Carr going to throw. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And oh, that would get a wide up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. Here's Carr. He wants it all for the end zone. And this will be caught in the carnage game. 